Hey everybody, Robert Lackey here from Bison Track Gear, and I've got one of our air height equipped suits turned a little bit inside out for you. <laughs> I've had a lot of questions asking how this works, what it looks like up close, what do the guts of this thing look like, because that's the important part. Well, here we are, guys. I wanted to make this quick video today. No FaceTime for me because I am doing the camera work. So let's start on the exterior. You have our LED port on the left arm. That's for the Alpine Stars Tech Air system, of course. Now, I want to say right up front, we do not include the LEDs or the leads that go in that left arm. You need to get those from Alpine Stars. The reason we didn't do that is, as you're about to find out, this suit will accommodate multiple vest styles. So we didn't want to just lock that Alpine Stars lead in there and uh, have it just hanging loose or somebody take it out, toss it aside if they're using a different brand of bag. I can help you with acquiring that LED port, um, but obviously the suit will accommodate, as I'm about to show you, uh, it will accommodate all the Alpine Star stuff, but we do not include the LEDs with the suit. It's about a $40 charge uh, you know, from Alpine Star. So on the exterior, on the front right, lower stomach, you've got a tether port, and let's just move to the inside. You're going to have three slots here. These are for a Doohan or Hit Air style bag, uh, which buckles at the front. So on the left and right, you've got your slots. Those style of uh, vests are going to sit behind the 3D mesh liner. You do have an access zipper down here. It's got red ends on it. So you can get in there, kind of work on the Alpine Star system, work on the Doohan or Hit Air system. But those two systems are going to sit behind the liner. Now, Tech Air. The Alpine Star system, as you may know, it zips on the left and right side of the inner chest. We have those zippers here. Here's one. The other is on this side. Okay. The Alpine Star suit, or the Alpine Star's vest rather, sits on the outside of the liner, so towards your skin. Zips here. The lead comes out at the bottom. I've already unzipped the liner. Now, before I pull this liner back, I want you to take a look at the material. This is 3D mesh. So multiple types of mesh, multiple sizes, they're spaced out, which means you get really nice airflow through this. It's moisture wicking, it's antimicrobial, and it's very, very comfortable. We've even got memory foam on the other side of the liner. So this is a really comfortable uh, in interior for a suit. You've also got a standard CE level two back protector here that is also backed with comfort foam. So let's pull the liner back. You've got a, a large zipper that runs all the way from groin to groin. I've already unzipped that so we can pull it back. Once you pull that back, you're going to see an abundance of stitching. Anywhere there is an impact or stress junction, we have over-engineered, over-stitched. You'll also notice that every curve, this doesn't look very pretty, but I can tell you it's very functional. At every curve inside the suit, we've serrated the leather. What that allows us to do is make a curve without bunching. So if you've ever had a suit that digs into you in a certain spot, or you just you're very aware that it's uh, that it's there's a curve somewhere, well, this eliminates that. It's just a sign of good workmanship. It takes a lot of extra time. Doesn't look very pretty on the inside of the suit, but serves a great purpose. You have an access panel here, or an access zipper rather, to get to the speed hump. Now the vintage rebirth suit has a small speed hump, an abbreviated speed hump. But your Thor.2 suit, which air height is standard on, has a large speed hump and it also has the ability to be equipped with a hydration pouch. You could access that hydration pouch through here. You could also access it through a zipper in the top, which with that suit would be equipped with. Speaking again of the Alpine Star stuff, up here on the shoulders you're going to notice you've got your Velcro panels because the shoulders of the Tech Air system Velcro to the liner, so those are on both sides. You also have these elastic eyelets. There's one at the base of the speed hump, one here, one at the top of the shoulder, and they continue down the length of the left arm to the LED port. So your, your lead is going to be kept in place all the way down to the port where it comes up, snaps into the vest. The overall construction of this suit is very, very good, guys. This is something that we really stand behind, we're very excited about. Price aside, this suit is assembled just as well, if not better, than any other suit on the market. We have genuine Keprotec fabric. This is Kevlar backed, as you can see, a lot of Kevlar in that. This is truly the, the, the actual shoulder stuff imported from Switzerland. It's not the Chinese or the Pakistani knockoff stuff. 
We put that in all stretch areas, including the back of the neck, including the cuffs on the Thor.2 and the Vintage Rebirth. You can see the double stitching. Okay, Coach thread is standard. You can opt for Kevlar thread at no additional charge. That's a personal preference thing. All the zippers are genuine YKK metal zippers unless opted otherwise. Again, not knockoffs, they're the genuine stuff. We have all the certifications to show that. So guys, this is a great suit. Uh, Air Hide is a really, really great system. We're very excited to offer it. If you have any questions about what you've seen here or there's something that I didn't show, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to jump on a video chat or send some, uh, some close-up photos of areas that you have any questions about. I appreciate everybody watching. We'll have another video in about a week, so stay tuned. In the meantime, go fast, be safe. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.